Hello, respected people, and welcome back to Respected Minister. Don't forget to subscribe the channel before starting the video. Sky News Australia tweet. Indigenous Victorians could receive an exemption from state taxes as a result of the government's treaty process, with Premier Jacinta Allen confirming it would be on the table. Mojito Mojo. In 2024, government basically telling people that can identify as anything these days for inclusiveness, which Victorians are not going to be tempted to tick the pay no taxes box, identify as indigenous on government forms now, especially given the hashtag cost of living crisis. Nitzmeiban. Labor are the masters of division. Firstly, Jacinta Allen changed youth laws so judges must treat Indigenous Australians more leniently when considering bail. Now they are to be exempt from state taxes. As from today, I'm identifying as an Indigenous Australian. Ararasi. Why? Wasn't the voice voted a no? Are we not all equal under the Constitution? Or is there now going to be a caste system based on race? Rachel Goldberg. She forgot to mention no council rates, no water fees, ownership of councils, council procurement contracts, tree logging for them only, and renaming roads and streets new and existing to Aboriginal. This all hear what they don't want you knowing. FC. Get a load of this. Had a large bill from Telstra recently. I called their special indigenous hotline for a joke to identify as Aboriginal. Like magic, the bill was waived, no questions asked. The masses have no idea how good Aboriginals have got it. Couldn't believe it. Sanjeev Sharma violates right to equality. If tax concession are to be given minimum tax threshold be increased for one and all without discrimination. Mashtade. Would the race-based tax exception correlate with a sudden increase in the indigenous Victorian population? If it did, it's just a coincidence. That concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow political enthusiasts, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australians' politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister, and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.